Today, I'm in Prague visiting Sesnam, one of Czech Republic's largest technology companies. They operate the most popular search engine, email service provider, and a wide range of other digital products used by millions of people in the Czech Republic. About a year ago, Sesnam became one of Expo's first customers, and since then, they've launched an automated penetration test with 28 applications in the last 30 days. And so today, I'm sitting down with members of the Sesnam application security team to talk about their experiences over the past year and where we're headed. I'm really excited to see them. Let's get going. Okay, Leo, take us back to when you actually tried using Expo for the first time. The very first vulnerability that was found was detected during the demo. Before paying any money, <laughs> it was a free demo and uh, Expo already identified a very dangerous vulnerability that was exploitable uh, even without any internal access, without any access to the source code. Previously, when we had uh, a couple of new engagements coming, we had to choose what applica which application is more important to cover and the rest would have to wait or uh, the risk should be accepted. So it, it was a very tough process to decide which application will be tested in the next two weeks. And uh, right now we replace some and test by Expo. We, some, sometimes it's hybrid, so we do both of them. We can uh, be qu quite confident that Expo will find as many findings as a human would find or even better, it also happened. If somebody uh, doesn't believe that uh, AI can f actually find some good vulnerabilities, they should try <laughs> to go through all the thousands of lines of code and uh, find this one specific misconfiguration. Nobody has hundreds of hours to actually read all the code. We can be more secure and uh, just cover more. During my pen tests on Xbo, uh, most of the vulnerabilities I've found or the AI pen test found uh, were quite common, the OWASP uh, top 10, but there were specific ones such as LFI that were not very trivial to find and it was quite difficult for me to uh, even find it in code base without the AI. I describe Expo as smart spider mostly because of the artifacts that are, include the requests, the thought process of the AI and the end, specific endpoints discovered. The difference between Expo and normal crawlers or spiders is that Expo takes the source code and parses it and kind of finds hidden endpoints that normal user couldn't find in the browser or somewhere else. And for normal pen tester, static code analysis would take a really long time and the Expo discovery finds it in a few hours. Every agent that is working on the uh, pen testing of the application is probably like one person. So it's probably like a whole new team for us that is helping us. I was very surprised by the outcome what the Expo had given us. Yeah, I, I, I guess the, the most surprising was was just the the sheer quality and quantity of, of the results. I think that uh, it's very beginner friendly if uh, people in that team have uh, at least like surface level knowledge of uh, pen testing and what to do to prepare for a pen test, like specify rules of engagement, which uh, domains to test, whether or not you want to test some specific endpoints and such. When uh, the team really uh, does know about this stuff and uh, or has at least some grasp of it, then it's really, really easy to, to work with it. In the past month, we were able to perform definitely much more pen tests than usual, like 25 plus engagements uh, that were done by uh, Expo is definitely a lot of <laughs> a lot of engagements and much more that it was even possible before that we were able to test the better version of the business logic vulnerability detection uh, mostly idors and uh, broken access control 
Xbox was able to find two vulnerabilities. The most important part is that this specific application was just tested, which was quite surprising because previously to me, it seemed like that uh, for AI, it will be the biggest pain point to detect what kinds uh, of uh, vulnerabilities are actually intended or not. Some people are really skeptical and uh, they uh, completely try to ignore AI as much as possible. I wouldn't do that, definitely. But at the same time, it's very important to be very, uh, to be very honest. Sometimes uh, the pen test, uh, the main open test is not replaceable by AI. It just amplifies uh, the work of uh, internal team. We can uh, just immediately test for vulnerabilities and uh, yeah, just fo focus on the most interesting parts. Working with Desnav has been one of the highlights for us this year. They take security seriously and it's great to partner with a team that gives real and honest feedback. Hearing about those moments where Exo found a critical vulnerability that got the team to stop and make a fix right away, that's the impact that we want to have, and that's why we built this platform. So here's to an even stronger 2026, and a happy holidays from all of us here at Expo.